Stand by, Schooner are on the way, and the Divine family are here. The Dick Hunchburners, I'm working my way back to you, baby, because it be great pleasure to welcome the Divine family. Her divine in name and divine by nature. <laughs> <laughs> That's Terry, Terry, Anne and Lewis. Hiya, Bill. Hiya. So, Hiya, welcome to the show, all three. We've met many, many times uh, uh, on, on the circuit. Um, but first to you, Terry, tell us, how long Schooner now? Schooner was formed in 1977, Bill. That, that's 36 years ago. He is right, mate. See, so I did that without a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as old as your beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 was Schooner your first? Was that, that your first, or did you go out solo first or anything? No, no. I, I first uh, started off with Hilda Fallon. You know, so I was a, a young youngster. It was like sort of, I think it's about eight or nine I was with Hilda. And I went through the ranks with Hilda until I was about 16, just going in. And then basically it was time to move off you know like leave the nest as they say and and then I just went on my own for a while done a bit of uh, stand up impressions whatever and um, I was in a, a band with um, Mick Star you know years ago yeah you were great and that Mick Starkey uh, yeah. Starkey yeah. Mickey and what was it called uh, Orbis no, but okay. Yeah, so we, we 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 went on like and like Mick was great singer and whatever and great impressionist Mick as you know and um, as I say it was down to the old thing like some of the lads just wanted to be music, you know, they were all into yeah. the music, you know. So I went my way and they went their way, but still great friends with Mick and whatever. And also Drew, I went to school with Drew, he was yeah. in the drama and everything, and uh, he was in a band called Drawler. I mean, basically, you formed Schooner, didn't you, as a show group? And it, it, yeah. you, you were actually j just the right time to start because it was when the cabaret clubs were really on the up, wasn't it? It was right, you know, the Wookie Yellow Allisons and all the places like that. But I had a good schooling. And uh, now it's all set round. I'm back in Liverpool and I'm doing all the circuits that I used to do when I was I mean, Schooner were once about five strong, weren't you, at one time? There was four of us originally, Bill, yeah. all like sort of. Because I know you were very, you were very big in the Isle of Man, weren't you? Oh, yeah. We just you won again. loads of awards in the Isle of Man, didn't <laughs> we you? We did, yeah. It was brilliant because, you know, we'd done all the uh, summer land and like sort of, you know, uh, and, all and, the hotels. And music's always been in the family, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Jerry is well, very well he's, known he's the on the scene. Yeah. Jerry. <laughs> and uh, your, your two youngsters, um, Lewis and Terry Ann, who are both with me now. Is right. And I remember when they were both on the Billy and Wally Big Night Out as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, still in the business, both of them as well. Lewis has graduated from a solo act. It, it's a being a, a dad and lad act with you. <laughs> it's very unique that Bill being a father and son because uh, it's great. It's, you know, like as we just heard today, like the Everly Brothers, like you know the oh, brothers, yeah. they were superb. And I was listening earlier on. It was like father and son, so it's great because he's learnt the ropes. And it brought him up through the ropes. And you're very strict with them as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, he is. He, makes, he, he tells Lewis, make sure you're on time. <laughs> he does make sure you're polite to everybody. Uh, well. And I, I must compliment you as well. One of the funniest things I've seen for years is Schooner's Michael Jackson tribute. <laughs> <laughs> the was, was, was that your, uh, sorry, it's The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah the Michael Simpsons Jackson. Michael Jackson tribute. Uh, yeah. With all of The Simpsons dancing to a Michael Jackson number. Well, we, t we try and keep uh, things topical uh, as much as we can, Bill, as you know. And, um, you know, growing up watching my dad, he's always been topical. He's always done all the stuff that's in, you know, on the TV or whatever else have you. Like when bread was out, he was doing bread when bread was out, you know, yeah. um, and stuff like that. And um, we were watching um, an advert one day and, and it's where they're all drinking a can of Coke and they're all moving at the same time and they're on their laptops. And we thought, that's that's clever, that, you know, that's good. Um, and we thought, well, we could do it our own because that's topical. Um, and everyone knows it at the moment. Well, we can it's do, visual, we, as yeah, well. and it's visual, and we convert it into something where they're all dancing. You know, because you, you know whatever I do on the stage, they do. You know, I fell over the other week, and the lot went. <laughs> <laughs> And you need room for it as well, because it's, it's all five of The Simpsons. It's all The Simpsons yeah. dancing with Michael Jackson. And uh, who worked it out, Teddy? I mean, because I, oh. when I first saw that, I thought, it must funny, have had to have an engineer in to work this out. Mum and Dad's house was like a construction site, wasn't it? It was hilarious, you know. We, 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 we pl made a plan of how we thought, you know, because my dad's brilliant at all DIY as well. And, and stuff like Cozy. that. And, and I, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we worked it out in there. And what we done was we made the, th the three dummies, which was Homer, um, Marge, and Bart. And uh, my mum, she's, she's a home care, and she gets up at like six in the morning, you know, to go and do her shift. And me and my dad finished uh, just, just making the dummies about three in the morning. And we just we got this thing in our hallway, which is just like a couch type thing. And we just sat each dummy on the couches, you know. <laughs> and she come down in the morning, switch the alarm off. And you should have heard the screams out of her. I'm telling you. <laughs> she thought there was three 
burglars. <laughs> yeah. Also, like sort of, you know, people take them like on the phones, like little yeah. recording, yeah. Bill, you know. So we had a chance to lose it. So yeah, and, and that's what we're doing, you know. And my mother like sort of watched it and she said, "Is that our Terry on the end?" <laughs> and she pointed to she pointed to Homer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't really do it justice on air. You've got to actually see it yeah, done on yeah. stage. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, it looks blinking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and your timing's got to be right as well, because yeah. you actually twirl round. Yeah, well, that was fantastic. I mean, when apparently we the... you kill four people at the <laughs> <laughs> well, When we've done the Brindley with yourself and Wally, it was just uh, amazing, because that was the first time you had seen it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, and that massive stage... And you know, it's just just amazing what you can do. But sometimes, like when we play the green room, we've got a big band behind us who are top of the bill. Yeah. And, um, and and, and not true. It's not a big well, stage. It's not a it? big stage, but I don't want to take. You can't take something that like that out the show oh, because no, it's so can't. it's so great. You know, bang mm. in the middle of the show, and it's visual, like you say. And uh, basically, I'm I'm dodging the drums. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not spinning tonight, Dad. <laughs> well, tell me, Andy, your solo. You're still doing solo work, are you? No, not really doing anything ah, solo. You're a I good do bits singer. Which... Oh, thank you. Oh, you are a good singer. I do. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I give it a go. Like I, we do, I'll do solo for like family parties and anything like that. I have a full time job now and other commitments, so mm. I have to be be sensible and uh, have. Have Dad and Lad ever asked you to join the act? I was joking, aren't you? I couldn't join these two. <laughs> Too much competition there. <laughs> Too much running round, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you, you've got a big new thing coming off, haven't you? At the uh, Ormskirk Civic Hall, is it? Yes, yes that's yeah. correct. Um, we work for the production company called Sister Shay. Um, the two principals are Ashley and Hayley Keenan, and um, they've been doing that production group now for about two years. Um, and me and Ollie have got involved with them. We've grown up with them for years um, mm. from. Little little kids, more like family, doing the anything, circuit, you know? yeah. Um, and they just said, you know, we, we want you to come and do some singing and drama with the kids, so we give up our time and go along um, and do that. And they have obviously the dancing side of it. Um, and we do workshops with them, various different yeah. things. And we said, right, we're going to do a production. And Lewis came up, why don't we do our day out? It's their first a drama singer production that they've ever done and we've been working on it for about nine months now because the kids range between from the age of seven to eleven um, and then obviously you've got the adult cast in it so we, we, we give them a good um, stretch of time to do the show so they're confident with it and not putting too much mm. pressure on them um, and do you know what it's absolutely um, fantastic to see how these kids have come on. It's so you're so proud, you know, just yeah. looking at the work that they put in. And these kids are so dedicated, and you know they go and do lots of competitions all around uh, Liverpool and the O2. They've done, and we always get complimented on how well behaved they are, how well mannered they are. So they're just a fantastic uh, bunch of kids to work with. Yeah. Um, you know, and we've been teaching them over, like I say, the the, the last couple couple of months or so. Um, and well, it's final... a well-known play, isn't it? it That's is. the main thing as well. Everybody knows the TV movie, yeah. Yeah. the TV show. But, of course, it was incredibly successful at the Royal Court. Yeah. It, it was, was yeah. musical. And yeah. we had the pleasure to go and watch Mick Stark yeah, we in did, that. because we're friends of Mick. Um, he invited us along, and he, which it was, was fabulous. fantastic. And, um, I mean, I think the play's fabulous, but when you actually listen to the musical, yeah. the songs in it The songs are, are fantastic. Just That's a snowball, brilliant. really, for me, because I was thinking, well, what type of show can we do for these these kids for the first show? Because, you know, you can't do something with an accent. You know, let's, let's keep it scout for the first one and everything, you know. And uh, and I said to our, our Terry Ann that, you know, I think it's good that we should do our day out. And um, it's been fantastic. The kids have done all the homework, you know, gone away, learnt all the songs, and we've we've tried to work as much yeah. as we can with them in, in the actual studio uh, in Kirby. Uh, but it's great, Billy, as well. It keeps them off the streets, you know, and all yeah. the rest of it now. And, and, and it's okay, something give, give us the dates and to. the bookings and everything. OK, so the dates are the 17th, which is a Friday, and the 18th, which is a Saturday of January. It's at the Ormskirk Civic Hall. The doors open at 7 o'clock and it starts at 7.30 prompt. You can get tickets online um, on the Sissish Hay Productions website, which is www.sissashayproductions.co.uk. I will. It <laughs> is S-I-S-A-S-H-A-Y, then productions.co.uk. Um, Sissish Hay. Yeah, Sissish Hay. It's very clever the way that name came up because that's the two girls' names in their... Um, sister, sister, Ashley and Ashley Hayley. And Hayley that's great there. when you know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you do that, you won't forget that. SisterShayProductions.co.uk. It is, yeah. Okay. And there's a contact number where you can um, call to purchase tickets as well, which is 07 525 27 
Okay, oh seven five two five two seven double oh one three. I'm not. I think I did Ormskirk Civic Hall with the tuxedos about <laughs> about thirty five years ago wow. or forty years ago. We were on the Otto Park Ballroom yeah. and we were first on. And we got a note saying, hey, we're looking for a band at Ormskirk Civic Hall. Can you make it for 10? Yeah. I said, good God, a double. <laughs> <laughs> make it to Ormskirk Civic Hall. Over the days, you know. oh. OK, <laughs> we, we play a track for Tell us about this track we're going to play. This is just a, a little sneak preview, uh, just a cut-down version, just so you can have a little listen. It's um, the motor car song, isn't it, where it they're is. all on the bus. And yeah. Lewis has actually um, done, done all, the all the music for this show. Um, he's play, He can play by ear, which is another talent It's after got. a while, Bill. Um, <laughs> so he, he's actually played every single track within the show that you'll hear this when you come to watch it. Have you listened to the kids on here, Billy? This, it's yeah, incredible, fabulous. Terry. You've got a daughter and a son who like each other. <laughs> <laughs> and a father in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here it is. Our song from our day out, and I've just been. Uh, I'm proud to tell you as well that Terry and Lewis and Terry Ann are all acting in it as well. <laughs> Terry is a bus driver. <laughs> oh, hey, on the coach, kids. Hey, hey you bull. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 07525270013 is the number, or www.sissyshay, S-I-S-H-A-Y, productions.co.uk, 17th and 18th of January at the Ormskirk Civic Hall. Now, before you go, Terry, you're always looking for something new, aren't you? Yes. Did you see Benidorm this week? I did, and I know, what are you going to say? Did you see Ken Morley doing hair? I did, I did, I did. Ed Jones were doing well, it. We've done the Herbert uh, three days uh, for Queenie's party this year, Villa. Yeah. And it was fabulous. You know, we have three fabulous days, you know. And uh, as you know, I do Freddie Starr in the show. Yeah. And uh, as Herbert uh, wears the red stuff and all that, and I was going to particularly come out on the show, but the way the show was run, we couldn't really do it. But, you know, and then, as you say, Ken Morley done him on uh, the Benadryl, which was super duper. So he's going to be in local, he's isn't gonna, he? He's, oh, he's yeah. in, in me. How mind. are you going to get teeth that bright? Is it, is it possible to. <laughs> Did they exist in real life or, or only in Herbert's mouth? Uh, well, well, I'm going to borrow John Bishop's because Al Lewis does John Bishop's. <laughs> <laughs> OK, great to have you in. Oh, Super fantastic, fantastic. Billy. Good, always good, a pleasure. Good luck with this. I'm going to play a track now by a guy you know, you knew you very, very well, actually, uh, Terry. Right. Bernie Wenson, the late oh, Bernie Wenson. Happy you days. worked with him many times. And wasn't he a, a wonderful, wonderful man? Superb. The Wenton family, brilliant. OK, here Super. he is. Thank Bernie, you. gone, but not forgotten. Right. 